Hi, welcome to another video. So, there are some upcoming models that have been confirmed, and I wanted to talk about these models and what you can expect in July. July seems to be not only the month for big IP movie releases, but also for big IP model releases. Now, let's start with the one and only Grok, which has been confirmed and postponed for like three months now. Elon Musk first said, that they would be releasing the Grok 3.5 model very soon, but then they never released it. However, now they have stated that they are going to be launching the Grok 4 model after July 4th, which means he is planning to release it on Independence Day, or somewhere near that. The Grok team has promised a lot here. They say that it is going to rewrite how we see these models. It is going to be truth-seeking. It is going to be so good that you will become unemployed and whatnot. But expect it to be like O3. If everything is in their favor, then it could be like Claude 4 Sonnet encoding, because I was expecting a lot from Grok 3 as well, but it was not at all competitive. I also believe they had committed to open sourcing their old gen models. So, with Grok 4, they should open source the Grok 3 model, even though they still haven't released the Grok 2 models, which makes me believe that they have forgotten about their commitment or something, which is pretty disappointing. But that is one model that is going to come. But guess what? Quen people retweeted that and said that Grok 3 can't exceed the Quen 3 coder, which means that a Quen 3 coder model is also coming and expect it to be released by the month of July as well. I hope that it is great at coding, because there seems to be a lot of contemplation regarding training with coding data. At many times, just training with basic coding data is not at all good, and results in a lot of bad coding states for the model. Whereas, the new RL tech, where the code is run in a sandbox to check for output, seems to perform better these days. I hope that is something that they do in order to really make a good performing model. Apart from this, there are also quite strong rumors about GPT-5 getting released in July as well. Yes, it is being said from multiple rumored sources that either O4 Full or GPT-5 is going to be launched in July, meaning that OpenAI is going to launch their new state-of-the-art models this season as well, because they are lacking a bit. Though they recently made O3 cheaper, which is really great. In the developer ecosystem, their whole share keeps on decreasing with things like Claude Code and Gemini CLI. And even models like Claude Sonnet and Gemini are better in most parts, which makes OpenAI not such a good choice for anyone to try out which is a pretty big bummer if you ask me. So, I hope that is fixed as well with their new gen models. It is said that GPT-5 will be free for users as well, which will be cool to see if that happens. Apart from this, there are also plans from OpenAI for an open weights reasoning model. This model is said to be released in early summer, as quoted by Sam Altman, which means that it is also going to be released somewhere around July or August. They said that it is going to be a local model that can run on a phone, but also have the reasoning capabilities of O3 Mini and be on par with it, which is not something doable at all from what I believe. But we'll see about that because OpenAI people only hype and have no gains at all. I bet that it wouldn't be near the Quen models at all. OpenAI has also recently started to use the Google TPUs, which is making them save costs while improving speeds, which seems to be the reason that O3 is so much cheaper now. It is much more cost-efficient than traditional GPUs, and that's why Google's model pricing is so low. So, it seems that OpenAI is also now dependent on Google for the TPUs, which is pretty ironic if you ask me. So, there's that. Now, before proceeding, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Ninja Tools. 
Ninja Tools is a crazy AI platform where you pay once and access all AI models and agents at one place. It combines all the best AI models and experiences. It allows you to save over $600 per year compared to having separate subscriptions. You get access to Claude, 3.7 Sonnet, GPT-4.0, Gemini, and a ton of other models in one subscription. You even get some more cool options like AI video generation, image generation, music generation, and document chats. You can also use their playground to compare multiple AI responses at once. The best part is that it just starts from $11 per month that gives you more than 1,000 chat messages, 30 AI image generation, and five music generation, while there is also some even more advanced plans if you need them. Make sure to check Ninja Tools out and save some money on your subscription while you're at it. Now back to the video. Also, there are some talks about DeepSeek's R2 as well, and it is said that it was supposed to be launched in July, but it has now been delayed due to dissatisfaction with performance. The information has reported that the launch of DeepSeek's new AI model R2 has been delayed, partly due to U.S. export controls that restrict access to NVIDIA H20 chips. These chips were crucial to the success of its predecessor, R1, in China. As R2 is also optimized for NVIDIA hardware, the necessary infrastructure for widespread use is now lacking. Although R2 is being further developed internally, CEO Liang Wenfeng is still dissatisfied with its performance. Cloud providers fear that demand for R2S will exceed existing chip stocks. Alternatives such as Huawei chips are technically less suitable. So, the DeepSeek R2 will probably be launched later this year, which will be cool to see how and when that happens. Those are majorly the LLMs that I have seen about that are going to be launched. I'm pretty excited about these models, because let's be honest, these models are what I'd like to see. GPT-5 has been long overdue, and it will be good to see what they do with that model, since it is apparently going to be an amalgamation of all their models that are tightly integrated into one, which is something that I'd like to see. I'm also excited for the Quen 3 coder model as well, because that is going to be a good coding-specific model that can be run locally and be a private coder model for a lot of people, which can be fine-tuned and everything like that. I'm least excited for Grok 4, because Grok 3 wasn't that good, and it was mostly all talk and nothing much to gain from, and it brought nothing new to the table either which makes me believe that Grok 4 will basically just be another ballpark model with not very much good performance, similar to previous counterparts. So, we'll see about that as well. I have trust in some companies, like I always had trust in DeepSeek or Gemini, but Grok or XAI is becoming a company that I don't trust at all these days, which is a bummer for sure. So, we'll see about that. I was using these models a lot and thought to talk about this as well. Let me know what you guys think as well. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!